Hello guys, so today I'll be showing you how I set up my hotkeys to play up one uh, specifically and you can apply this hotkey setting for other heroes as well that require control multiple units at the same time okay so first thing first I will go to the setting I will uh, you can pause the video and copy the exact same setting that I'm doing here and after that I will go through each one one by one of the setting to explain to you so you can have a better understand what I'm uh, what we are doing over here okay. so, so this is a hotkey screen you can pause it and copy it to advanced hotkeys options and advanced option okay so now i'm assume that you already copy all of my setting already so i'm going to explain to you uh, what the meaning of this setting in a minute so the first thing i want to explain to you is the control groups so what it means what it means is that it gives you the ability to set group for your unit so you can manage the groups better Let me, for example if you call the tempest and you do the tempest you control two to set the second group for your tempest so the next time you you choose you want to choose the tempest you just hit two to call the tempest one for your hero and two for your for your tempest okay you can you can choose the tempest and set it to the third group by using control three and yeah three one and we have the next we have the next unit uh key over here and i use tab for it so what that is means is that if you call the temp tempest and you hit tab it will choose your next unit over here which is the tempest over here you hit tab again it go to your host again tab the tempest that's your host your hero tab tab the, the tempest and tab the hero okay and next we have like select hero f1 for select your hero one for select your hero straight forward and we have f2 to select on control units so if i have this again and i have and i hit press f2 it will choose on the unit and in this on control unit you can use them to to chain to chain to the next unit and control all the units at the same time too. Hit tab. See? You see the difference? Now you in the temple, a tempest unit. And you can use the skill of the tempest. You hit tab again, you use the skill of your hero. Tab again. Okay. okay. And you have A to attack move forecast that. So it's quite straightforward. See the courier. Okay, so I hit this the key to the select courier. And we have F4 to courier deliver items. So if we buy item. We have F4, it will just deliver item to use. Okay. We have purchase quick buy and okay, so if you boost your your items into the quick buy area and then you can hit n to buy to buy the item okay go to advanced hotkeys you have six for torn item so if you have any torn items you can hit six torn item. and we have toggle auto attack okay edge edge for toggle auto attack for example if i hit hit that will auto attack always so if i move to him it will just auto attack the target time you see if i hit edge again with the text standard i move here it will no no longer attack it's very important when you want to go kill someone so if you go to options and we have double tap ability to self buy the self cost so in order for you to understand this you will need to understand quick cost okay so 
and you can see over here that I'm using Quickcast for all of my skills and items. And if you haven't used Quickcast before, let me explain to you. So normally, if you use your normal casting for your skill, you will you will need like you will need to do extra step to cut the skill. For example, I change the plus skill to Q to normal casting. And if you want to cast it in on hero, you need to hit the skill Q and you click into the enemy hero. Okay. Do it more time. Press Q and click into the head. The enemy hero. But with quick cast, you no longer need to do it. All you need to do is to put put your mouse onto the onto the enemy and you hit Q. You can see that the the skill will be automatically casted on the target of your mouse where your mouse is in. If you can see that if I put the mouse into a, onto the crowd where there's no unit, it will set a no target. You see, but if I put it into the client again, okay, the skill will just automatically cast it. I have the spark. I put a crowd. I I no longer need to to click in on the crowd like, like normal cast too so uh, if i use normal casting if i hit e you see i will need to click on the crowd and it really slow slow us down if, if we want to like use multiple skill at the same time especially for for this type of hero that we need to use a lot of skill and items at the same time as 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 fast as possible <clears throat> okay so i assume that you already understand the quick cast and let's go back to the option you will see that that would have ability to self cost what is that you have the first step so as you can see that in the quick quick cast you you will not be able to like like double double tap double tap to self cast the items on yourself you see and you, it requires you to put your mouse into your 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 hero body to move skill to use the skill on yourself you see so in order to use this option we have the smart double tap what it means is that it's holding down on when pressing an ability or item will trigger will trigger a double tap if possible okay so if i hit on i hit g it will cut the skill on myself and you can see here or g or g or g you can see and i go to bling okay and r g you can see that i'm double tap right yeah uh it means that we are double tap the items so it can cast it on ourselves or we on v, on v, on v, you will see here, okay, so that what it does, teleport requires hold and stop, okay, teleport requires hold and stop, and you can see that normally if you teleport to, to the tower and you hit on the ground by mistake, it will not cancel the TV, in order, in order for it to cancel, you hit S, which means the stop. See, F, S to stop. Okay. Channel ability require hold stop. Okay. And you circle someone. Okay. And if you hit on the crowd, it will no longer stop your skill. In order for you to stop, you hit S to stop. So it will help you to not to cancel your 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 skill act by accident okay so right now i'm assuming that you already understand on my hotkey already so i will now i will show you how i use it together to come to combine the combo that i normally do the first thing first after I will do it very slowly so you can follow it. First, I do Q on the enemy. 
it all to call the tempest hit tap to change to the tempest unit hit Q and hit E to set the spark tap again to change it to change back to the hero hit E and use magnetic fuel hit tap again to use the magnetic fuel from tempest you see Q again you Q E tap Q E Magnet fuel E tap again to your tempest E and magnet fuel again you see simple it is <coughs> yeah. let's do it in a quick way very quick way okay. so let's do it in a quick way Very straightforward. Let's do it one more. You see? Let's do it one more. It is. It is. You finish practicing your combo with skill, you can buy the buy the item to practice as well. So here, yeah, for for example, you have a blood on and heads over here. So let's see. Very simple, straightforward. Okay, that's it. That's it for the tutorial, and you can just keep practicing it, and until you you master it and apply for the real matches. And I hope this guy will be helpful for you, so you can apply it for other heroes as well, not just Aquaden. Yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.